beautiful woman, Queen Victoria, mourned the passing of her husband. It's not for any of the Queen's subjects to presume to tell Her Majesty when and where she should come out of mourning. And refused to carry out her public duties. Her popularity is waning. Should we take it seriously? The question is, do we need her? And no one can console her. But when a Scottish Highlander came to visit, things began to change. My husband was always very complimentary in speaking of you. <laughs> Honest to God, I never thought to see you in such a state. You must miss him dreadfully. What is he doing there? If ever a poor soul needed some fresh air, it's her. Lift your foot, woman. Are you sure Her Majesty is up to such a long journey? If I didn't think she was up to it, I wouldn't let her go, would I? Now, this common man My in the and the nation's leader are about to form a most unlikely partnership. Thank you, John. She was drunk, I tell you. No, she wasn't. No doubt you've heard the rumors. Fear the influence he has on her. She must be persuaded by someone she respects to abandon this ridiculous favoritism. Tell her the Prince of Wales wishes to speak with her urgently. Are you deaf as well as stupid? Do you know who you address, sir? Whom you address? The royal family. They are demanding the dismissal of Mr. Brown. Sometimes I feel Brown is all I have left of Albert. And now they attack Brown too. Miramax Films presents the story of an extraordinary friendship that transformed two lives <laughs> and changed the destiny of the world's greatest empire. Without you, I cannot find the strength to be who I must be. Judy Dench, Billy Connolly, Anthony Scher in the critically acclaimed film, Mrs. Brown.